how's it going guys okay so I'm driving I'm on the road and I just I wanted to make this because I had some thoughts all right some important life changing look at how this man is driving this man purchased his license at a Walmart these people I'm around yeah, I wanted to make this video because this is all there is left to do, okay? This is Mad Max stages. This is the pre-stages for Mad Max. All there is to do is drive around, and, you know, movie theaters are all closed, it sucks to be outside, you don't know who has it, everyone's a double agent, it's like the departed, you don't know who you can trust. Everyone has COVID. That's how I'm living. So point of making this is that I was thinking about this recently okay there's something I've learned in my uh, short existence <laughs> that's me bragging about not being that old <laughs> no uh, a thing in life that you have to realize is that everyone is crazy Okay? Every single person you meet is crazy. I'm making this video because one of these days I'm gonna die. We're living in Mad Max territory. One of these days I'm gonna be dead and these videos are all, this is what's gonna be left for the people out there. So this is just some helpful advice. Everyone in life that you meet is crazy <clears throat> and this is what I mean by that human beings we tend to think that insanity is just like this easy categorizable thing <laughs> here's the thing bro we, we think that this stuff falls neatly into like two camps of people there, there are the people that have been admitted in some kind of psychiatric ward and they're crazy. Or they're the people that are just sane. People that check their Instagram every two seconds. People that check social media every two seconds. They're the sane ones, right? <laughs> so this is what I mean. It, the reality is a lot less easy okay that's a big thing i'm learning as an adult the secrets of the universe nothing is easy there's no umbrella uh term like you got to take time to learn certain truths and this is it okay everyone is crazy it's just a matter of degrees how crazy are you all right and this is, I'm going to get into this a little more because I think I can really help people here. <laughs> this is why I don't think that it's, aside from being mean, I don't think it's nice or cool to be, like, to make fun of another person. You know that old saying, you never know what someone else is going through? There's, that is 100% true. And... The reason why that is, you know, you never really know what someone's going through, man. The reason why you can't make fun of a human being. It's because all human beings are inherently lunatics. We all have this uh, baggage, okay? Every single day of your life, every single year... Like, think of the average year in your life. Because I know human beings are selfish. So you're just going to think about your own experience. <laughs> think about all the terrible things in this year even, alone. Maybe you had to cancel your field trip to the zoo with your favorite, you know. You, you, had, you had everything lined up. Your crush was going to sit on you next, <laughs> next to you on the school bus. On the short bus, <laughs> depending on how intelligent my followers are. I'm just kidding, I don't want anyone to... But anyway, in an a 
average year, you are... Would you just go? Hurry up, man! Make the turn, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so in an average year, this is just a terrible off-the-rails video. But you know what? That's my process. I'm pulling into Walmart here so I can talk to the people. The people out there, they need my knowledge, okay? It's important. When you reach a certain age, you gotta lead the people younger than you to prosperity. So I'm trying to pay it forward. This is what I want to tell you guys. Look, okay, I'm, I've, I'm pulled, I've pulled over. What's up, Sri Lankan brown man who thinks he's African American because he has Drake blasting at full volume from his parents' Honda Civic <laughs> that he souped up in his garage. Okay, I'm just joking around here, but... Okay, think of the average person, okay? In an average year, you have... There's an accrual of terrible shit that happens to all of us, okay? Life is just awful days punctuated by a couple good moments. Maybe you meet a girl, you know... Maybe she likes your favorite movie and you get along, but then she's going to die. And then you're going to be depressed for like five years. And then one day, who knows, maybe you enter a contest to be in the next Metallica music video or whatever you listen to in your shithole <laughs> small town. And let's say you win. And that might be a anchor for you, keeps you happy. But then the next seven years are just shit again. But then who knows, maybe you meet another girl. Maybe one day you're shopping for groceries for your family at Walmart and you meet a cute cashier girl and she happens to be very uh, explorative with the things she likes to do. <laughs> and then maybe she dumps you. Because she meets a guy that's six foot two and you're only five foot whatever. That's what life is. And then another eight years of depressing bullshit, okay? <clears throat> that's what life is. It's just awful times punctuated by once in a while you have good moments. Unless you're like, you know, Mr. Richie Rich. You're, uh, you're the child of Jeff Bezos or something, you know? Your, your, your life's not going to be amazing. Trust me, okay? It's going to be mostly awful, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the reason why I'm mentioning this, to link it back to the everyone is crazy thesis here, is that picture every human being... <clears throat> as like a bag of rocks or like potatoes we're all <clears throat> sorry my throat is a little cavity today we're all carrying around this invisible bag of uh you know detriment just waste bad thoughts you know you ever be in the kitchen making like a cup of tea or something and then you think about something mean someone said to you. You're like washing a dish and you're like, man, that guy was a real scumbag. <laughs> We're all carrying around those invisible demons. So you have to think. Half the people that you see in this life, you think that everyone is just normal. Like... <clears throat> Just because someone hasn't been admitted to a psychiatric hospital, that doesn't mean that they're <laughs> doing great in the head, you know? You could be at a shopping market, and you could be right behind a guy that is the moderator for, like, a forum that is just, like, anti-Semitic or, like, you know, really racist... <laughs> 
And then he tells the checkout lady, all right, see you later, nice to meet you. He seems like a normal guy, right? But picture that, amplify, like times everyone you meet. Everyone is carrying around this baggage and you don't know it. But if you push someone too hard that has said baggage, Great, thank you for accelerating in your... Jesus, Mr. Big Ball's over there. Maybe he's one of the better ones that's doing well. Or maybe, you know, he's crazy too, but he doesn't know it. <laughs> what was I even saying here? Yeah, you don't want to push a person too far. Because you don't know how crazy they are. So... You, you should never make jokes, however lighthearted, about a person's appearance, about a person's, you know? You should ask yourself, how constructive is what I am about to say to this person? I know this because I feel like a lot of people are loose cannons that talk to me. And they, I'm surprised at a lot of the things people say that they think is somehow appropriate. But the uh, double-edged sword to that. Don't be mean to people, but also never take anything personally that anyone says. Because, as I have proven, scientist Larry Singleton here. Everyone is crazy. Nobody knows what they're doing. Okay, we all are carrying around this big sack of potatoes filled with negativity. So, if a sack holder, <laughs> if someone carrying a sack of negativity potatoes says something to you, maybe they say, you know, something about your height. That's one that I get a lot. You can't take it personally. Picture yourself as like a mountain. And you're, you just, you know, let all of this shit roll off of you. You're, you're a mountain of good vibes. So whenever someone says something to you, they're trying to attack your mountain. And you just got to become the avalanche and just shake it off. So what was the point of this? The big, the, the takeaways I wanted you to have from this video is that everyone is crazy. No matter how sane they seem. Everyone thinks that they're amazing. Everyone thinks that they're the main character. <clears throat> when really, we're all just supporting characters. We're just... <laughs> Who's that actor that appears in every movie and no one knows his name? There's a bunch of them. That's who you are. That's who I am. So yeah, those, the, these are the takeaways. I want everyone to listen and take to heart. Everyone's crazy. Nobody knows what they're talking about. Don't be mean to people because you don't know what people are going through. And you don't want to push a crazy person too far. And never take anything personally that anyone says. Because they're all full of shit. And you don't know what anyone's going through. I think that's what I wanted to say. Um, there's probably a better way to say this, but I'm in this parking lot and Walmart, and I think I've, uh, <laughs> achieved my mission here. Listen, professional YouTubers say that you're supposed to make a video that's at least 15 minutes long, and this video right now is just above 14, so just to prove to you that I'm not going to follow conventions and I care about you. Your Uncle Larry is never going to lead you astray. I'm going to cut this short. And I'm not going to fall into the 15-minute YouTuber trap where they just make filler just so they can beat the algorithm. I'm not going to do that, okay? I am going to cut this video and make it shorter than 15 minutes. I, I wouldn't do that to you, okay? Listen to me. You should trust me. <laughs> I'm not going to lead you astray. Alright, I got to go buy some 
frozen burgers here. See you guys later. Be nice to the crazy people, okay? You don't know what they're going through. And by crazy, I mean everyone.